Okay, that's all the important parts. You need my pulley there, and then my alternator. And now I just need to build some kind of frame platform thingy for them to both attach to. And I got a slightly bigger pulley for this because I want it to spin the alternator faster than the engine does. Because the alternator needs like, well I'm not totally sure about this, but I think it needs at least 2000 RPMs and probably more. And the maximum RPMs of this is 3600. So I do want it to be able to go a little bit faster. Because I don't want to be, you know, giving this like near the minimum range. Of course, don't forget to tighten the hex screws so the uh, pulley doesn't fly off. Now, I was searching around the garage and I found this piece of plywood that would be alright. But then I also found this piece of polycarbonate stuff, which is really strong. So I might use that as the base. And I kind of scratched along where what size I thought it might be, you know, basically. Big enough to make a square to go around the base of both items. All right, table saw. Oh, I kind of wish I used the plywood. Way easier to cut on a table saw than this stuff. Oh well. It will be waterproof, which is why I chose it. Okay, there's my piece of stuff under. Now I just have to mount them, and I'm going to start with this guy, since that's going to be easy. There's little mounting holes on the bottom. I think there's even a diagram of where the mounting holes are in here somewhere. Of course, the cool thing about this being clear is that I can just uh, draw the mounting holes by looking through. I just stole some mounting screws from that winch over there. I'll have to remember to get some more. Sweet. Hey, there's the motor attached to my piece of polycarbonate. Now to figure out how this attaches, and I'm gonna have to be a little bit more creative because it doesn't just have like holes that'll bolt down to something flat. Okay, I think I found some stuff that'll help. I've got a bolt that fits through here, and I've got one of these. Now if I bend this closed more, it can clamp right on there, and then I can drill these holes a little bigger, and then this can go through there, through there, and then through there. Ah, much better. Now I just have to drill some bigger holes. Good. Yeah, this thing can't bend down quite as much as I want it to, so I'm going to have to file a little bit of off in there. Oh, excellent! One of these! That's better, and now it can sit flat. This is a little bit tricky. I have to pull the motor as tight as I can get it to make sure the belt is tight, and eyeball line it up, and then mark the holes down here and hope I got them right. I'm just marking them with a screw. I decided to just grab it with vice grips and I can drill it on the spot. There's two bolts in place. Before I put the other two, I'm gonna put it together and make sure everything's lined up right. I think I'm just going to try starting it up and check it out. I found some nice little cables. Uh, we're not going to look at that end because it didn't really fit on the screw, so I had to mangle to get it on there. But anyway, I'm going to connect this, and then I'm going to connect my little voltmeter, and then I'm going to test it. Yeah, I think everything's ready to go. I got my voltmeter plugged in, 12.96 volts, so presuming I did it right, it should be higher than that in a minute after I start it. Oh, and I have my little safety goggles on, and some gloves, just in case something goes horribly wrong. But, if I get everything right, this should be a piece of cake. Yes, going 
pretty well. Excellent work. Nice. It looks like I won't need this screw for anything, but if at some point in time this belt starts getting loose or I break this belt and can't find another one this size, I can tip this whole thing away because it's only on one pivot spot over there and use this to attach something down here to hold it up so I can use a longer belt and you know tension it by lifting this up. But it looks like it works good. Oh, I have to go in and tell everyone how cool my invention is. They don't really care, but, you know, I'm still going to go tell them and be all excited anyway. And pretend they're excited, too. Come look, come look, I made something, I made something! Are you playing video games? Come look, I made something! I, but I made something! You have to come look! I was pausing. You have to come look, it's exciting! Okay. Okay, come! Okay, I know I just dragged you out here and you're wearing like half your pajamas and stuff, but here, check it out. Yeah, that was totally an essay. Okay, see my wonderful thing? Uh-huh. Um, we turn it on here and pull the little machine, switch our choke over. Is that it? Isn't that super? What do you mean is that it? Now we can like charge batteries and power 12 volt things and stuff like that. Like what if we want to build a go-kart and we want to use 12 volt, you know, motors on it. And like what if our batteries run dead and we're like, oh no, what do we do? We have a, we have a backup gas generator. We just have to keep this in the trunk. Isn't that spectacular? Spectacular. Get out of here. See? See how much the chicks love that stuff? If you're like building stuff like that, you can show it to them and, and it's totally good for picking them up, right? Yep, super exciting. Yeah, that totally worked, man. She's totally impressed. She doesn't, she's not, she's like pretending that she's all cool and stuff, but. All right, I'm just gonna go back to my generator because I don't really, girls, get out of here. Okay, so maybe it's not that good for picking up girls, but it's totally useful for like charging batteries and power and things. Maybe I need to start wearing my hat this way. Oh, I forgot to mention how to hook this up. Presuming you got an old style alternator, you can just plug the uh, positive cable to where that little red area is. There's a bolt there nicely made for it. And then the negative can actually attach anywhere to the thing. And there's a nice bolt right there that bolts to the frame. And that's it.